Today's Sunshine Note is titled, A Time to Die. Now Sarah lived 127 years. These were the years of the life of Sarah. Sarah died in Kirash Arab, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham went in to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. Genesis 23, verses 1 and 2. My dad used to tell me that the only two things you can rely on are death and taxes. And while I am sure that these are not the only two things I can rely on, death and taxes both happen readily all over the earth. Of the two, I prefer taxes. As a pastor, I have had to preside over too many funerals. I have had to bury young, middle-aged, and old people. I've been to funerals that were so sad that people had to be carried because they could not walk. As many funerals as I have attended, I never get used to them. They never become routine. They always feel wrong, none more so than the funerals of people in my family. My grandmother died in her early 90s. She lived a wonderful life that was filled with joy and adventure. Although she had lost her husband years earlier, she had three loving children who took good care of her and included her in many of her, their adventures. Grandma Velda's funeral was a mix of fun memories and tears. Still, it did not feel right to say goodbye to such a bright life. Sarah lived a long life with Abraham. She experienced the ups and downs of marriage, laughed at God, and bore a son. She lived her life and then she died. She didn't know it, but Sarah died, the mother of the nation that would see the birth of the Messiah. Death is a tough subject to talk about. You would think it would be easy since it happens so often. But when a grandma or a grandpa, a mother or a father, a brother or a sister, a friend or a classmate passes away, it always leaves us with an empty feeling that is hard to explain. The great hope of Christianity is that there is more to this life than this life. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 26 says, The last enemy that will be abolished is death. The reason we don't like death is because it is our enemy. But praise God, one day death will be defeated once and for all. Now Sarah lived 127 years. These were the years of the life of Sarah. Sarah died in Kirish Arab, in the land of Canaan, and Abraham went in to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. Genesis 23, verses 1 and 2. May God bless you today.